Hey guys, today's video is a glow up video. And so if you want to see how I went from this to this, keep watching. This video went a little bit differently than I thought it was going to be. In the beginning, I thought it was going to be just a vlog, but then I ended up kind of touching on all the things that I do to make myself feel good. So in this, this is just little snippets of all that. But if you want greater detail on any of the things that I do in this video, you can write me a comment below, such as my pedicure routine or how I cleaned my oven completely so that it was like new or um, how I do this hair. Anything you want to see more of, um, leave in a comment below and I would be happy to go into greater detail. For now, let's get into the glow up and jump back in time. Sunglasses. Huh? Just talking to my vlog. Good morning. It's time for the first vlog of 2021. Hello and welcome to my glow up, my 2021 glow up. And today we're gonna do a glow up. I need to glow my whole life up today. Here's the plan. I have this hair mask on. I slept with it on under here. I need to do a good shower, a full shave, a little bit of lotion and then a fake tan and then I need to clean my house and deep clean my house. This video started as one thing and then completely morphed and transformed into another. I spent the New Year's time reframing and thinking about what is my ideal life and how far away is it from my reality. And I tried to think about the, the tiny pieces that make a life complete and the little things that we don't think of as goals but are actually important to me. And I tried to put it all together and then reshape how I'm living my life in terms of daily routines. So this week, or I guess the last two weeks, we're now in the second week of the new year, I spent glowing up my whole life and setting some routines that will impact my happiness and my productivity. So in this video, we're gonna go through some of my steps for my glow up and we're gonna glow our whole shit up and get feeling really, really, really good. So I guess that fake tan and deep cleaning doesn't go so well together because when your arms get wet, your fake tan comes off. So I might have to do my fake tan before bed. That's a good idea. So the first two things for our glow up are breakfast and meditation. Let's go. of my glow up for 2021 is that I am working on my mindset and I'm working on my mental health for the first time with effort and concentration. So one of the things that I do now is daily meditation. And so I wanted to show you guys how I meditate because I have a morning meditation routine that I do every single day. And I guess now it's like day seven or something, but this is my habit that I'm gonna do for the rest of my life and I'm starting now. So I'm very happy with it. I really enjoy it. And part of my glow up video, I thought it'd be fun to show you. Okay, let's meditate.
I'm back. I just finished my meditation. It was great. And now it's time to make some more progress. So I made coffee and now we're gonna do the whole shower routine. Eternity later, our shower routine is done, and now it's time to start cleaning. I thought it'd be really funny. This is experimental filmmaking. I don't know if it's gonna work. I thought it'd be really funny to do time lapses, but from a POV. So I, I have a headpiece for my GoPro. <laughs> I want to do time lapses from my headpiece. Let's see if it works. <laughs> finally back oh my gosh I have to be so careful not to move in this chair because when I move it goes like this it's time for day two of the 2021 glow up yesterday my camera battery died while I was wearing my GoPro on my head which I rewatched the footage and it doesn't even look that cool it kind of makes me nauseous it's like Whoa. so whatever but after the battery died I was like okay this I don't need to keep filming this I did like two more loads of laundry. I washed the floors. I put everything away. I was on a cleaning marathon. I'm really happy and satisfied with what I got done. So now it's time to move on to the emotional part of the glow up. And that means I'm gonna plan my year and I'm gonna do my goal setting and then I'm gonna make my vision board. Those are all really important things to stay on track and to manifest your ideal life. You need to know exactly what it is you're going for. So it's time to concentrate on what I want this year and what I want out of every month this year so that we go forward through the whole thing with a plan. So here's my books. This was my weekly book last year and this is my daily book. I think I'm going to continue to use this one for daily layouts because I like having one page per day but this is going to be my new planner. I don't know how much of this I want to do on camera but I'll show you some time lapses while I set everything up. Okay it's been some time and from very far away I'll show you my table. I set up my new notebook. I got everything all good to go there and then I started looking at my 2021 goals and I'm still parsing them a little bit in my head because I want to formulate them exactly how I want them so that I can really achieve them and not be vague. That's going great. I also made like a year river to look at, like to plan the whole year, what's going to happen this year. And I have to say, it's a little bit depressing. Like because of Corona, no one can plan any travel and just nothing is really scheduled. So it's just kind of like, 
okay, we'll keep adding to that later. But right now, I'm gonna pack it all up and I'm gonna go home and work on my vision board over there because it's just too cold here. Hi guys. Okay, my 2021 glow up. Oh, I think it's cuter this way. As long as you can hear me, I think it's cuter like this. It's the next day. My vision board is still not done, but I'm gonna do that tonight. Before I do my vision board, there is one thing that I have been avoiding for so long that is essential to a glow up. I need a pedicure. I have had unpainted dinosaur toes for like six months now and I feel it that my feet are so calloused right now and so thick that I really need to take care of them. We're still in shutdown, but I love giving myself a pedicure. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna put a show on and I'm gonna do the full program on my feet. It's so essential to take care of yourself. It's so essential to feel good. My feet do not feel good right now. They don't feel soft. And I think every time I look down at my nice toes, I'm gonna feel so much better. So now it's pedicure time. I'm done. Totally cute, I went with red. My feet are so soft. I was doing a time lapse and then the battery died and then I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get another battery. So not all of it is filmed, but I think that's fine. The feeling is there. I gave my feet a soak, I scrubbed everything, did my toes, awesome. Still planning to do the mood board, but watching the show, what is it called, Brandberry? Brandison? Bradbourne? So good. The drama is so good. I can't. Shows like that are the reason that I wanna be a director. The drama is so good. It's building such a nice degree of tension that I just always watch it like this. I'm like, <gasps> and mm, it has been really fun to watch. We're on episode five right now, and I think I'm gonna watch two more episodes tonight. So, chill and good vibes. You guys! I thought this wouldn't be interesting for the glow up vlog, so I didn't film it, but now I'm halfway through, I'm like, you know what? This is part of the glow up too. Today, I cleaned out my drawers. I have three everything drawers, and I'm cleaning them all out today. So we're glowing up my life there, and then we're doing another big life glow up. We're cleaning my oven. This thing was so nasty, so we literally took the door all the way off, and now we're soaking it, and then we're gonna scrub it, and then we're gonna put it back together. And I swear to you, when we finish these things, it's going to be a whole new life feeling. But for now, look at this. Oh my God, it gets better. Wait, it gets worse before it gets better. This is everything out of my drawers and now I have to clean it and then put it back in. Oven and look at that. 
that's a few more. We took out all three glass pieces and cleaned all of them. And then we put everything back in. This is just like kind of permanent. But everything wow, else. We do use it a bunch. It's never been so clean. Can I close it? Mm -hmm. Good old elbow grease. Pretty good. super unglamorous no makeup look today i am just not doing makeup it's not a thing that i did today this is day seven or something of this vlog so this is officially a very long process but today i just brought my mood board into my office in its final space where it's gonna stand did i say mood board again i keep meaning to say vision board it's a vision board and not a mood board but the pictures are falling off. I have it perfect, I have it exactly how I want it, but now they're falling off. So I'm going to take it back down and re-glue the pictures, and then we will be done with my glow up project. Mm. can't believe it we're here right now it's morning I slept with a hair mask on my hair and I wanted to show you guys how I clipped it because this was actually pretty comfortable to sleep on oh, okay. oh I slept last night with a deep conditioner on and a fake tan on so I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone and go rinse both of those off after I rinse my hair, then I'm gonna do my full blow dry routine and I'm gonna give myself a nice blow out. And then I think we'll be done with our glow up. Hey guys, so we are officially done with our glow up transformation for 2021. It would also be nice if my background would glow up and please not do that, but that's okay. So my hair is done. It looks beautiful and I feel great. I meditated, I took care of myself, I journaled, and now I feel awesome and ready to start the day. I think that when I started this video, I knew I wanted to glow up, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I started this video 
over a week ago. Now it's been like eight days since I've been working on this one video. And when I started, I wasn't sure exactly what glowing up my life meant. But now it's only been eight days and I feel completely different. I took those eight days and New Year's is always a good time for me to do this, but to really concentrate on my projection of my future self and what I actually want and how I want to live my dream life and what I want to achieve with myself. And in the beginning, it can be really hard to write your goals. So I'll give you a tip that I learned from TikTok. Pick three massive goals for your year. Pick three things that are so important to you that seem very far away. They can be dreams. They don't have to have any connection to reality at all. And then you take those three things, only three, anything else is too much, and you break each of them down into three daily actions. And then you take those actions and you track them every single day to see if you're doing them, to see if you're staying on track. So I'll give you guys one example of one of my goals. I don't wanna share all of my goals, just like I don't wanna share my vision board because it feels too personal. But one of my goals is to speak university level collegiate German by the end of the year. And that is so hard for me. So my goal is to read 12 fun books in German throughout this year. So I decided the thing that I can do to make that manageable in the scope of a year is reading every single day. Now I have a new bedtime routine and I have my Kindle and I read every single night before bed. The best thing about reading on a Kindle as opposed to reading on an old fashioned book is that when I come across a word I don't know, I can actually just tap on it, there's my book, and I can get a definition. So that helps me a lot. I'm an active reader anyway, I like to highlight in my books, but um, it helps me a lot that I can tap on any word and get a definition in context. I hope that you can find a goal too. I hope that you can find something this year that you want to improve or that you wanna be proud of and you can take the steps every single day to achieve it. Because I think as women, we end up spending a lot of time looking after other people and if we don't prioritize ourselves, we will never meet our own goals. So that is my parting gift to you today. I hope that you can find something to do every single day that makes you proud. And good hair doesn't hurt either. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It would really help me grow. And more than anything, I would love to just like see you and hear from you. So please write me a comment down below. Have a good day and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. You can watch me grow.